Hi, this is Pat from Love Healing Hearts with one more prophetic dream from one of my regular viewers, Anthony McDonald. Now, he had a prophetic dream, and I believe it was about the rapture. Listen to this. Okay, now, this is Pat Love, uh, reading mixed with paraphrasing so that the words flow. Okay, now, the first dream I had, I was with my family, and we were living in an apartment in New York, somewhere in the Bronx. Anyway, uh, we didn't seem to have anything with us. That was kind of strange. And I didn't, couldn't tell if we were poor or in a shelter or what was going on. But anyway, I found myself walking inside this building. And I saw nothing but Christians, Christians everywhere. They were smiling. They were happy. I mean, ecstatically happy. When I spoke to a few of them, we instantly became friends. It was really a very sweet experience. I enjoyed that. And it was easy to get to know people. We would sit around and talk about the Lord. I mean, these people I'm just meeting, it was like we were family or something. Really a nice feeling. Okay. And then I noticed people had bags and they were picking up their bags and, you know, like they were getting ready to go. And kind of like they do at the airport or something. So next thing I know, I realized I have a bag. Weird, huh? Okay. And I picked my bag up and I noticed that everybody was lining up because they were calling people by name. And check this out. They even called my name. My name was on that list. So anyway, we're all in line getting ready to board the most beautiful bus I had ever seen. This bus was amazing. It was gorgeous. Anyway, so we, we lined up and different people were getting up on the bus in front of me. And and uh, one of the lady friends that I had met told me that she couldn't go. And I couldn't figure out why. I felt kind of strange about that. Why would she not want to go, right? Well, she said she had a baby. And she didn't want to leave her child, but she also didn't want to leave her family behind. I would have taken my child and gone. But anyway, I don't have any kids, so I didn't have to worry about all that. I realized that was the only bus out of there, and I did not want to miss it, so I got on the bus. I saw that bus driver board, and I made sure I got on that bus. Okay, so next thing I know, we're looking through the window and we're waving at everybody. And I realized, wait a minute, there aren't a whole lot of people on the bus I'm riding on. I looked around. That was kind of weird. There was still a lot of people out there waving and happy, but they weren't going. So anyway, so what ended up happening was... As I was waving at the lady that didn't want to get on the bus, I noticed behind me a little bit, I, I saw the World Trade Center. And I saw all these helicopters flying around. Oh, I'm telling you, I got the most foreboding feeling. It did not feel good. I felt like all of a sudden something really bad was going to happen to all those people that were left behind. <sighs> anyway, our bus that I was on started to move forward, and that's when I woke up. Now, that's the end of Anthony's dream. But I want to tell you, this is Pat's two cents. We don't want to be left behind, you guys. We really don't. We don't want to be in a position where we're stuck here when all is said and done and God has called his people home. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. There's a scripture in the Bible. Stay anointed. Keep your life pure. Keep your heart pure and clean. If you can't forgive, ask God to give you all the ability to because that's one of the requirements. We cannot make it into the kingdom of heaven with the uh, refusing to forgive. Do you hear me? 
God wants us to live holy. He says, be ye holy for I am holy. So if you're slipping and sliding, peeping and hiding, as my first pastor used to say, stop. If you're uh, slithering around, getting away with nonsense, stop. Because all that stuff you're doing, you, you know, you think you got plenty of time and God's good. He's a good God. He's a loving God. He's a merciful God and all that. But guess what, you guys? There comes a point where God draws a line in the sand and playtime is over. It's get down time. And when it's get down time, you are either in or you're out. There's no in between. Do what Isaiah says. Cleanse you. Make you clean. Put away that stuff, that nonsense. Let God wash you and make you clean. Please, whatever you do, don't miss out. You don't want to go through. And I believe, now this is my personal belief, I believe that we're going to experience some of the problems because I don't think the saints totally escape all the tribulation. I would love to afford to be that way. But when I read scripture, it looks like we're going to have to deal with some of this. But you want God on your side because with God, there are miracles. There can be miracle provision, miracle, miraculous health. Do you hear what I'm saying? Miraculous safety and protection. And guidance, divine guidance. He can tell you, leave here, go there. And when we endure to the end, we will be ready. Do you hear me? Don't get stuck. Don't get left behind. Amen. Amen.